It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Carolina Panthers and the Chicago Bears next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the legendary venues in the sport. Historic Soldier Field in Chicago. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Partner, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. How does Eddie Pinheiro to get this one started? Off we go from Soldier Field. Valus Jones now on the return. A very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. Following the kickoff, we have an injured player on the field. Not something you want to see in the opening minute of the game. Set to go now on first and ten. Williams going to throw on the first play. Pass is caught. That's D.J. Moore. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties, make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. here with Swift. Angling to the sideline. Inside the 35. And he's out of bounds, but they are in the red zone. Out inside the 20. And for the second straight offseason, it's kind of hard to believe Mike Swift kind of finds himself in a new place every year. This time it's with Chicago. Just a year ago, over a thousand yards rushing and He's going to be looking to build off that last year's success. A throw here, right side, falls incomplete. but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Look like that might have been a RPO, a run-pass option. The quarterback has the ability to put the ball in the belly of the running back or pull it on the pass. Looked like he might have been better off pulling that one because he handed it off and there was nowhere for that running back to go. On third down, it's William. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. fourth down. It's Cairo Santos on for the Bears field goal. This one will be from 37 yards out. Santos's kick is good. And the Bears are out to an early 3-0 lead. You know, they did a lot of good things on this opening drive, Mike. I know they stalled out once they got down there into the red zone. They're going to need to work on finishing some of these drives as this game moves along. But that's a good three points to start this game. down at the 23 and that's where the offense will take over the Panthers now ready to get to work on offense for the first time they are led out by the veteran 
the one they call the Red Rifle. Getting back to his old days at TCU, it's Andy Dalton. The man known around the league as the Red Rifle, and what an NFL career he's had up until this point, Mike. I mean, think back. At one point, he's the Pro Bowl quarterback routinely leading his team to the playoffs. Now, he's the experienced backup. He's bringing a lot of veteran presence to every locker room he finds himself. And one thing's for certain, when he gets a shot to play in the game, you could certainly do a lot worse than having him in your starting line. This is how you draw up your opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. On first down, it's right back to Hubbard. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. Now it's a movement up front. Flags down. Mistake filled. First half continues. And that is it. Well, this play, Mike, was clearly about the job of this defensive line. Great job holding their ground, forcing these blockers to be stood up. Nowhere to go for this running back. And they hold him to no game. Third and long. Mingo, the man in motion. Off third down. They'll set up to throw. Catch is made. That's Mingo. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's a fourth down. On now is the punt team for the Panthers. Back deep, DeAndre Carter to return. Forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20 yard line. The Bears offense is going to take over now for the second time. They had the field goal on the opening drive, took the early lead. See if they can improve on that here. 3 0 our score as we begin first and 10. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. The big tight end, Cole Komet, the intended receiver. It's second down. Get out of the gun. Here's Williams. That's over the middle and intercepted. I think he chalked this one up, Mike, for just a rookie mistake. And anytime you have a young signal caller behind center, you're going to have to deal with some of these ups and downs. Every once in a while, they're just not going to see the coverage. They're going to get baited into making a bad throw. That's kind of par for the course. The key is how fast can these rookie quarterbacks turn the page, move on, and not make the same mistake again. The Panthers offense ready for their second possession. They'll start with a golden opportunity here to move out in front. Great field position to start out. It's first and ten. Dalton. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. from the interior, there to bring him down. Third and six. Tremble comes in motion. 
Throwing. Dalton. And that is incomplete. As a pass rusher, you don't always need to record a sack to make your presence felt. Creating pressure, move the quarterback, affect his timing. Those are all different ways to take pressure off your coverage unit. Here's Eddie Pinheiro now as the Panthers will try the field goal. Good snap. Good hold. Good kick. And the Panthers will tie the game at three apiece. So the field goal draws us even. It is now 3-3 as the kick's away. DeAndre Carter on the return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. They'll set out in search of a first touchdown in this game. Just a pair of field goals to show. It's 3-3 as they start first and 10. Come up now for second down and four. To throw, it's Williams. That pass sideline is caught. Nice catch. Stays in bounds. And he's got the first down. Terrific job with the feet to make that one a grab. from the shotgun, it's Williams. He'll get this underneath to Swift. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. To play corner in this league, Mike, you have to have great reactions and instincts. In this case, he trusts those instincts from the jump, and he's able to send the offense going backwards as a result. On second down, it's a run with Swift. It's a game of 15. First down, Chicago. This offense has to be thrilled, Mike, with the success they've had here on the ground in this opening quarter. Now as the rest of the game unfolds, everything in the game plan continues to open up. So they come to the line for first down and 10. From the shotgun, it's Williams. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Here's a handoff to Swift. And a good run there. Finds the lane. Gets forward. Got eight yards and sets up a much more manageable third and two. They'll try to run for it. It's Swift. And pick up a 12 yard. Good for Bears first down. There's a big conversation going on right now around the NFL about what is the true value of having a run game. And I've always thought it comes down to being good at three situations. Can you run the ball in the fourth quarter with a lead? How well can you run the ball on the goal line? And then in this case, how well can you run the ball in short yardage situations? to give to Swift. And this time, they are ready for him. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big game that carry. It's second down. Some defensive ends specialize in getting after the quarterback. Some defensive ends specialize in run game. This guy can really make an impact on both, as we saw here for that tackle for loss. On second down, it's Williams. 
He'll go underneath to commit on the screen. He'll try to use that size to push forward, but it's not going to work. Defense strong up front. And they're going to get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, you know, Mike, if I had to guess, I'd say that's probably not what they had in mind when they called that play, but those guys on defense, they felt like they knew what was coming from the start, and they got to him in a hurry. Third and long. Here's Williams. He'll try to run for it. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. This is all about sensing the pressure. You can see him keeping his eyes downfield as long as he can. But ultimately, he decides, I got to tuck this ball and become a runner. He's able to avoid the sack, pick up some positive yards. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Bears will take a 6-3 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Raheem Blackshear on the return he's to midfield and he'll be out of bounds on the return and the drive will begin there here's the Carolina offense now as they head out to take over for their next possession they'll start from the plus side of midfield looking to possibly take the lead here it's first and ten. Thrown quickly. That's more on the RPO. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. It's overwhelming the offensive line, and down he goes. When you can bring quarterbacks on pressure, man, that changes everything for the defensive play caller. Offenses spend all week worrying about linebackers, defensive linemen. How are they going to protect the quarterback? But when you can time up a secondary pressure like this, man, oftentimes there's no answer for it. Johnny Hecker now. The punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. So that one's going to land out of bounds, and the official's going to mark it right at the 20-yard line. The Bears offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. On the bootleg, it's Williams. Throw right side, caught by Odunze. It's been a game of field goals so far. 6-3 is our score. We're back to Soldier Field after this. Williams to throw on second down. 
He's got his big target, Everett. And he'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. They'll run out of the gun. It is Swift. He'll dodge one would be tackled. And he'll end up getting a nice gain of six on the play. Throwing on second down. Williams. And he'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. Here's Williams. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. He'll try again here, second and ten. Here's Williams now to throw. Throw well, left side, but that's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Keenan Allen on that one. And it's going to be third down. Try to throw again. Here's Williams. He's got his man. Allen with the connection. Allen comes down with the big first down catch. And while he might be wearing a different uniform this year, it's clear this Bears offense, they need him to be the same reliable weapon that he's always been. Be that safety blanket for the young rookie Caleb Williams. And so far, he's done just that. They'll come up here, first and ten. Off play action. Here's Williams. He finds his big tight end, Everett. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. Williams to the air once more. And that one is incomplete. Healthy flag down back in the backfield in the area of holding. They'll go play action here with Williams to the left side into the hands of Moore. and long. Throwing again. Williams. He'll get it inside the 20. Five terrific quarterbacks from Southern California. And here's another one. The rookie gets his team a first down. Williams. That's complete on the tight end screen. We try to use that size to push forward, but it's not going to work. Defense strong up front. They're going to get him down behind the line of scrimmage. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. This is an RPO, and quickly they'll hit Allen. Get about eight out of that one, but 
Still a little work to do now on third down. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. And they get to him and finally bring him down. It will go down as a sack. Now, following that sack, we have a player who was injured. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. Now it's Cairo Santos for the field goal. This from 30 yards out. Three for three in the game as this one is also good. And the Bears will extend their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away this one taken at the seven and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the panthers offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field the deficit six points a touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense see what they can do on this drive first and ten it's caught mingo with the ground they'll get 11 there and that's a quick first down. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw. That's to the rookie from South Carolina, Xavier Leggett. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. the 39. Here's a first and 10. A give up the middle. It's Hubbard. A modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. to the 29 here, facing third down. Mingo, the man in motion. Now, it's Dalton. Short one there, caught by oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. Mike, we hear that term, run after catch, so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch. But before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. Here's first and ten. He'll start on the ground with Swift. He'll get this ahead for about three. Xavier Woods there on the stop. They face second down and seven. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. And they'll whistle him down, but before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven.
Swift gets it from the pistol. And he does not want to go down. Somehow he turned that into a gain of six. Second down, it's Williams. That is into the hands of Allen Downfield. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. They'll put Everett in motion here. They will run it over center with Swift. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. They'll come up on a second down and eight. They'll go again with Swift. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go here till halftime. We'll come back to Soldier Field following this. On third down, it's William. That one on target to Moore. A game there of 11. First down, Chicago. the shotgun. It's Williams. On the out. Connected with Allen. The Bears are going to have a first and goal. He's out of bounds at the 8-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 and just enough to move the chains. They've got it at the 8. First down and goal. Now Williams. And he's going to be down Close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. The Bears will use one of their timeouts here as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They'll try to run with Swift. And he will not get to the goal line. In fact, he may have come back a little bit. And now it is third and goal. In these goal-to-go situations backed up on your own goal line, Mike, what they teach the defense is it's your job to establish a new line of scrimmage. And that's exactly what they did here. Watch the push they get. The offensive line goes backwards, and they take the ball carrier down for a loss. He was looking to get it to D.J. Moore. And now they're faced with a fourth and goal. Here's a designed run. behind the line. They have turned it over on down. And here we have a real gutsy call here, Mike, early in this game offensively. I think you're giving up a surefire field goal attempt, but at the same time, you're demonstrating to your players, hey, offense, I have a lot of trust in you, and let's see if they have this same approach as the rest of this game plays on. The Panthers' offense going to take over just before the half. And they're going to hear it from this crowd. They're backed up deep as they start first and ten. On the ground. 
now here's Sanders to start the drive. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Once again, it's Sanders. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we had halftime along the lakefront here in Chicago, and the Bears are on top, as we'll get you down to Orlando now. That's with the coaches, Jonathan Coachman, and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment, but for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. These two teams ready for the second half, and so are we. So let's get you back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see if we come out with a hot hand in the second half. About to get started. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. On the return, here comes Blackshear. He'll get this up past the 20. That's where they'll set up shot. The Panthers offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. They'll do so with first and 10. Get this drive started. On the ground, it's Hubbard. And he'll get about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll run it. It's out of the gun, and it's Hubble. And out of bounds he goes, just shy of midfield. They get 21 on that one. It's a Carolina first down. Well, that right there, Mike, is your once-a-game reminder of just the importance of short tackling. This run never gets anywhere near where it ends up if that initial hit was stronger and he was able to take him down. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Now Dalton. He's going to let this one go deep. And he's got five-yard line the offense is able to land a big blow there and I think what happened defensively Mike is just everyone was not on the same page and when you do that at this level the good offenses they're gonna make you pay for it they've got to clean up those mistakes make the offense have to earn everything they get no touchdowns for either side maybe we'll get our first here it's first and goal They'll run with Hubbard. And he's going to go backwards on that one. To take him down back at the six-yard line. A loss was definitely not something they had accounted or budgeted for in this spot. And now, I think it really limits what do you feel comfortable dialing up here on second and goal. Second and goal. Now it's from the six-yard line. Now off the bootleg. He'll look to throw here. And he'll take it on in. Tremble! Touchdown, Carolina! Now, Eddie Pinheiro for the extra point. He's got it. Panthers have taken the lead by a point here in the third. The kickoff team is out of the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. 
Carter on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. DeAndre Swift and the Bears offense set for their next possession. And you have to imagine the defense is saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. That's made there by Allen. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. To throw is Williams. They go right back to Allen. He's got it again. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. play fake and they'll throw with Williams gonna look deep looking for more he's in DJ Moore touchdown Bears So now, with the lead up to five, they're going to go for two and try to extend it out to seven. I'll oh, give up the middle with Swift. And he gets in for the two-point conversion. And the lead bumps up to seven. It doesn't happen often in the NFL, Mike, but there is nothing better when the entire stadium, the opposing team, everybody knows what play is coming, and they still can't stop it. Man. What a feeling for an offense, and it's exactly the case here. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Blackshear. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to get back at it. Find themselves trailing 17 to 10 now as they come up with first down and 10. He'll borrow his way forward for a couple. T.J. Edwards there on the stop. Second down and eight. The motion man is Johnson. To throw is Dalton. That's taken in right side by McGett. He'll come up to third and three. Dalton. He finds the big tight end, Trumbull. And he's going to pick up the first down. He knew where that marker was and made sure he got beyond it. Well, they finally are able to convert on a third down. And, Mike, when you look back at a box score, some of the biggest indications of how well the game went, of course, you don't want to turn the ball over. How do you execute in the red zone? And then how are you on third down? Third downs typically lead to long drives. Long drives tend to lead to points. So no real complicated formula. Stay on the field. The more snaps, the more plays, the better. Shotgun draw, trying to catch him off guard here, Mike, but the defense was having none of it. Thought it took a little too long to develop, 
Gave that defense enough time to get back there. Stop him for no gain. Here's Hubbard. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Remember this one thing, Mike. It is not how well or how often you run the ball in the NFL. It's when do you run the ball well in the NFL. And I think that's what a lot of these offensive play callers are starting to realize. Can you run the ball well in critical moments of the game? More important than how many gross yards you run for. Catch is made. That's Mingo. And he's into the end zone. Jonathan Mingo. Touchdown, Panthers. What a job to finish the play with a touchdown. The catch and carry in the carry part, Greg. That was the most impressive there. Well, you said it, Mike. The catch was nice. But it's what can you do after the catch that really separates guys in this league. And in this case, he did plenty because it ended up in a touchdown. Pinheiro on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Panthers will come back to tie things at 17. So back to level after the touchdown. And time for the kickoff. Jones now on the return. And the kicking team right there, stopping him before he can get to the 15-yard line. Out comes the number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, and the rest of the Chicago offense. First and 10 now from the 36. They'll go play action here with Williams. That's complete. Some more on the right side. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. Here's Williams now to throw. That's a short throw caught by Komet. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. On the give, it's swift. And he'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. And with that run, this back is closing in on almost 100 yards for the game today, Mike. He's had a lot of those good chunk plays. This defense has not had a great answer for him so far. Whole lot of extra muscle over there on the left side for this first and 10. This is an RPO, and quickly they'll hit Allen. Game of 13 for number 13. And a first down. Inside the 10, a gain of four. Here's second and six. Another run here, another run by Swift. And only managed to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down. Working out of the gun. Here's Williams. And this ball incomplete on third down.
They can still pick up a first down here, and they'll line up to go for it on fourth down. They'll go. It's Swift. And he will take this one across into the end zone. DeAndre Swift. Touchdown, Chicago. It just feels like a big drive, doesn't it, Mike? Here in the second half, you got a tie ball game. Now you're able to get out in front. Let's see how this other team responds having to play from behind. We got a ton of time, Greg, but a little momentum feel. Come out of the locker room, take the lead. Now it's up to the other team to climb uphill. So great way, perfect way to get this second half started. Now Cairo Santos to add the point after. The kick is good. And the Bears will go up by seven. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return here comes Blackshear and their drive will begin at the 30 yard line the visitors offense and their quarterback ready to go once more and I want to take you through the highlights here they have been plentiful from the quarterback position has the offense running at a high efficiency throughout and we'll try to sustain it here down the stretch. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. This drive begins with a run by Hubbard. And he searches for, for a gain of about five. to throw. It's caught Mingo with the grab. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Here's Dalton. Looking left side is tight end Tremble. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Try again, it's second and ten. Tremble comes in motion. Off the play thing, he'll look to throw. Go to that, that's the get. And that'll go for a gain of seven, and it's going to set up third down. here looks like one of the defenders got a head start Second and seven. Tremble. 
Tremble comes in motion. Now it's Dalton. Short one there, caught by Tremble. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So back and forth they go as we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Lorenzo now, he'll drop to throw. Got his man at the six. And the Panthers are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. That's a really important pickup there on that last completion. Not only does it set up first and goal, but allows everybody in the huddle to just take a deep breath. We're no longer in this frantic offensive possession. Let's get our best play. Let's make sure everyone understands what to do because we know we need to finish this off with six if we can. That being first and goal is going to go a long way. Deontay Johnson, the intended target there. And it'll bring up second and goal. Back to the air one more time. To the goal line and in. Xavier Leggett. Touchdown, Carolina. A huge touchdown there in the fourth quarter and now just a point away from tying the game. And that's one of those drives, Mike, where you know your best is needed. Can you come through here late and give your team a chance? They're an extra point away from tying this thing up and we got ourselves a ball game. So they're not level yet. A critical extra point attempt to follow. The kick is good, and that will tie this game here in the fourth quarter. All even. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? across the 25-yard line. The Bears offense and DeAndre Swift set to get going again. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. They'll run here. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's a second and nine. Off play action. Here's Williams. Throw right side. Caught by Odunze. Wow, an important one coming here. Tie game. Late. And this is third down. That is left side and taken in by Allen. He's going to be brought down very close to that line to gain. They're going to mark him just a bit short. And now it's fourth down. As a play caller, those are the plays that just drive you crazy, Mike. You think you're going to pick up the first down. You get tackled just shy of the sticks. And now a little bit of a gamble here on fourth down. Great job down there to hold them to a short return. The visitors' offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. We're all even. Fourth quarter, so every drop so important at this stage. 
And they'll start with first and ten. They try to set up the screen, but this one doomed from the start. It's incomplete. They'll try again here. Second and ten. The motion man is Johnson. Now Dalton. They'll set up the screen here to Hubbard. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. Stick to the ground. Looking for room out on the edge. Not going to find it. As a matter of fact, I think they tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. I'd like to see that running back be a little bit more decisive with his cut, Mike. You can see he was a little hesitant. And once you're late making that decision, you just kind of get strong laterally. Great job there by the defense, and he has no choice but to take that loss. Hunting time for the Panthers, set to kick this one away. Important punt here in this tie game late. A fair catch. He's going to call it and take it right around his own 30-yard line. The veteran Keenan Allen and the rest of the Bears offense heading out to take over once again. And he's looking to finish strong. He has been unquestionably the star of the show as they've just absolutely had no answer on the defensive side of the ball. And a spirited run there, somehow managing to gain a couple of yards. Williams to throw on second down. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. You want to be a star in the NFL, Mike? These are the high-pressure moments that you can't shy away from. The greats, they embrace it. Tie ball game, fourth quarter. The game is on the line. Everyone in the stadium knows where that ball is going, and I can't blame him. To the left side, he's got the match. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. Nice first down catch there by Cole Komet. And, Mike, I've had a chance to spend some time with him in Nashville these last couple summers and at our TEU event that I run with George Kittle and Travis Kelsey. And for a big body, for a guy who's just a large, large guy, he can really bend. He can run. He can get in and out of his break. And I think that's a big reason why, as he's continued to develop, He's a very good run blocker. He's really become that dynamic weapon they thought he would be coming out of Notre Dame just a few years ago. A third and two. Throwing again, Williams. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Got to give a lot of credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was plenty of time for the quarterback to work through his progression. I thought the protection was actually pretty solid. But at the end of it, there was just nowhere to go, and he had no choice but to just throw that ball away. So now, the Brazilian-born Cairo Santos in a big spot. This to take the lead here in the fourth. And this one, right down the middle. It's good. And they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. Both teams ready to go 
once more as the kicks away. This taken in at the eight-yard line. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The visitors offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. This drive kicks off with first and ten. There's a throw right side. It'll be incomplete. The pass intended for Xavier Oget. And it'll bring up second down. They're lucky to have avoided this mistake here, Mike. In the fourth quarter with possessions running out, that would have been a critical back-breaking play in this game. And they're going to have second life now after that defender drops the ball. Let's see if they can take advantage of it. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. first down to throw is Dalton that's made right side it's Johnson and that keeps him ahead of schedule that's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. Tremble comes in motion. Dalton. This is a great reminder of why it's so important to have great offensive tackles. When you get beat so fast off the edge, the quarterback has nowhere to go in the pocket to escape, and that's what happens. Big play coming up. This is third down. He'll look to throw. That is Connie finds his big target again. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. And how about the poise of this quarterback? You find yourself down here late in the fourth quarter, Mike, facing a tough third down. You've got to have it. You know what? He calls the play, he breaks the huddle. He's like, you know what, Coach? I got it. That's a big-time throw to now keep this drive alive as they go down looking for that go-ahead touchdown. The motion map is Johnson. Throwing now on first and ten. He's got it at the three. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. working for the pistol. That one, taken in. Xavier Leggett. Touchdown, Panthers. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. What a game this has been. Back and forth we go, and that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike, and now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win? Now, Pinheiro to add on the extra point. His kick is good. Panthers have taken a four-point advantage.
So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Carter on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Out comes Caleb Williams and the rest of this Bears offense. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Forcing third down. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. It's a gain of 19 in the air. Good for a Bears first down. Now, second and four. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. They'll come up now for second down. They'll drop to throw. Now he'll run. These are the plays that just drive the defensive coordinator crazy, Mike. You do everything right, but you don't account for the quarterback scrambling. He's able to get out of the pocket and gain enough for a first down. Plenty of time. All three timeouts left. It's first and ten. They'll come up here first and ten. A play fake, and they'll throw with Williams. Oh, the pressure too much. He goes down. It's so easy to underestimate the speed of this quarterback until you get on the field. They break down your pursuit angle so quickly because of that speed, so... Give credit to the defense. They understand it's a collective effort to contain this guy, and this time, defense wins and brings him down for a sack. The game hanging in the balance and a critical third down. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. And they'll stop him just short of the goal line, but they are going to have enough to convert. It's going to be first and goal.
to throw is Williams. And this is a touchdown. They were not going to be denied. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. Now this, an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. An important extra point up and good. So the lead is three here in the late stages of the game. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. On the return, here comes Blackshear. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Panthers offense and Xavier Leggett heading back onto the field. This is first and 10. Throwing, Dalton. It's Miles Sanders. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here comes second down. Here's Dalton. Jonathan Mingo, the intended target. And third down coming up. Now it's Dalton. to go once more first and ten they've got the lead and they'll set forth trying to build on it they're going to do that with excellent field position now a timeout for Carolina that's going to be their second and the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the ball game Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Down to a knee goes Williams. And that should wrap this baby up. Two runs, each lost a yard. Now they're looking at a third and 12. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So this one in the win column for the Bears. 
This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. In the end, a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That is the difference in this one. Defense round. 